What's up friends, this is Lucas Ryder and welcome back. Today I'm offering some of my travel tips and tricks for you to use the next time you find yourself on TDY. If you can't tell, this is a different background. I'm currently TDY at, uh, off at Air Force Base in Nebraska. How far is Omaha, Nebraska from Honolulu, Hawaii? Omaha is about 3,826 miles from Honolulu as the crow flies. First, you want to research where you're going, and I like to start with the weather. So are you driving or are you flying? What's the weather going to be like across the drive? Uh, what's the weather where you're at, vice where you're going to be? Researching will help you prep what kind of clothes to bring, how to pack, what your uniforms are going to need to be, do you need to bring jackets, do you need to bring you know, thicker boots, whatever, whatever it is. But the weather is the best place that I've found to start. If you're driving, you're going to want to check out your car. When was the last time you had your oil change? How's the tread on your tires? How's the windshield wiper fluid? How are your wiper blades? Um, those are all a bunch of little details, but will save you a ton of headache and your safety uh, should you get in a pinch. Next, tell people you're gonna be in town. So I think the two places to start, actually really the three are your friends, some different uh, colleagues, and also some mentors. Easy as a text, hey, I'm gonna be in town this week. I'd like to meet up for you know food or coffee, just say hi and see where it goes, it's as easy as that. Talking face to face, of course, is better than emails or texts. I recommend you download media onto your phone because internet connections on base and at airports is spotty to say the least, depending on where you're at. I've generally found internet connections to be the worst on base, unfortunately. Uh, sometimes it's been great, but most of the time it's been pretty poor. Netflix, Amazon Prime, and YouTube Red are kind of my three go-to places to download content. A bunch of different shows. I prefer YouTube Red because the diversity of content and just the variety that exists. I can't tell you how upsetting it is to get on a plane and then realize that it's not refreshed or upgraded and they don't have you know an outlet to plug your phone in or something to control for, for content and you're just gonna sit there for the next six hours. You also wanna reflect on your goals for the TDY, both personal and professional. So kind of touching on the networking, who you wanna reach out to and contact and kind of foster some relationships, but also, uh, professional goals with work, you know, what can you take back to your unit? Your uniforms, you want to check and make sure that they are good to go before you leave. For example, I uh, arrived once at a place, it was like 9.30, I'm getting ready for bed, I'm prepping my uniform, and I found out that on my ABU blouse there was a tear, and the next morning I was meeting with a general officer. So I'm thinking, oh my gosh, this is a time to uh, make a good, you know, impression, and my uniform is torn. Uh, no 24-hour tailors existed, uh, I didn't have a sewing kit and I don't know how to sew, and I couldn't fix anything. Alterations didn't open until after the meeting. So I uh, discovered a way that I could position myself in the meetings to kind of you know avoid this little, little wardrobe malfunction up here, so to speak. And uh, I got through it, it was fine. And then the next available opportunity, I went to Alterations and they fixed it for five bucks and it was awesome. Don't do what I did and just be prepared and uh, be ahead of it. If you're, if you're driving by car, you also uh, wanna have snacks. Snacks on snacks on snacks. Having snacks available is always something that I've found that's beneficial. Uh, yeah, you stop for gas along the way if you're driving. You know, I think it saves you money and it saves you time when you're getting to your TDY. Most of my TDYs lately have been by commercial air, so I have a lot of kind of lessons that I've picked up over the past few months on traveling by jet plane. And now for my favorite part of these videos, a reading from the AFI 362903. Those choosing to wear civilian clothing in lieu of a uniform during official travel ensure it is neat, clean, and warm enough for in-flight operations and appropriate for the mode of travel and destination. Don't wear flip-flops and board shorts to Antarctica, or if you do, make sure you have warm layers underneath. I like to dress warmer when I'm traveling by air because I've found that most airports and airplanes are generally cold. I have a very cool pair of stretchy pants. When you are a man, sometimes you wear stretchy pants in your room. He's for fun. Service members receive a very gracious uh, checked bag policy with most airlines, so uh, it's there in case you need it. Uh, definitely don't take advantage of it, pack appropriately, um, but it's there. So the rule of thumb is you're allowed a personal item, a carry-on item, and a checked bag. Personal item comes on the plane with you and will go below the seat in front of you. Checked bag stays in the belly of the plane, of course, and the carry-on will go above you in the storage compartment. So my personal item right now is a backpack from Tepo Bags. It's one of their smaller smaller bags. Uh, real simple design. It's got a, a brain uh, pouch right there, and then um, one main compartment. We'll start with the brain. In the brain, I kind of throw my snacks. I get real hungry traveling, and you know, and definitely buying at the airport can get very expensive real fast. Agua. Make sure it's empty when you're going through TSA because they'll make you pour it out or they'll try and confiscate it. 
Um, but once you get through security, you can fill it up and you have water on the go. Headphones and noise canceling are essential for my toolkit. Uh, I've been using the Bose QC series for about a decade. Had my first pair last me almost seven years. Uh, they were great. In the back, I throw a power brick. I get about five to six charges out of this. Um, and I have, you know, my lightning cable for my iPhone. Next is the cell phone. Like I said before, I download uh, TV and shows onto it, which is awesome. I'm gonna share this with the world right now, and I'm not ashamed of it. I'm on the pop socket game, and it's fantastic. All right, my next item, also kind of a guilty pleasure, but it's amazing, and that is the eye pillow. It's the only way to control light on the plane so you can have darkness and sleep when you wanna sleep. An eye pillow plus the noise canceling headphones or a comfy pair of earplugs puts you in a cocoon of comfort to let you sleep and dream blissfully on the plane while everyone around you is making noise. Guaranteed quiet and it's awesome. Finally, I bring uh, a neck pillow as well just in case um, I really need to kind of crash out. Um, small enough and light enough um, that it doesn't take up much room in my backpack and it's there. My flights now are usually six hours a pop coming from Hawaii anywhere I'm going so um, kind of a, a bit of a jaunt and it's nice to have this and just pass out. This is the trifecta with the eye pillow and the, the earplugs or headphones. It's kind of look kind of goofy, but you sleep soundly. <sighs> Let's go full mode. Let's see how, how, uh, how this looks. Eye pillow before headphones. Eye pillow before headphones. Oh, oh yeah, so good. <sighs> I might, just, I might just take a nap right now for a little bit. Roll forward and it supports you. So many options. Get with it, baby. I also like to take cash whenever I travel too. It's a, definitely a personal preference. Another thing that I've recently started bringing is a nice little photo of uh, my family. Right here. Sweet little five by seven, easy to go, little plastic frame, but uh, they're always with me and I set it up in the hotel room just to kind of remind me of home, uh, let me know if my loved ones are there, and um, makes the hotel room a little more warm. So it's nice. I love, I love my wife, Adrian. She's amazing. And I love our dog, Lady. So there they are on the nightstand. So cute. Hey, Siri. When is Valentine's Day? Valentine's Day is today. Happy Valentine's Day. So one of the bummers about going to UI is that you're going to be away from family on holidays. How often I've missed, you know, a birthday, a holiday, some kind of anniversary, just something, and uh, I've been on the road. So it's kind of a bummer, um, but plan appropriately and take care. You know, be mindful. It's kind of that planning factors too. Like I said, the first thing you do is kind of research and plan. Um, so don't forget to take care of uh, the ones you love um, before you go on the road, while you're on the road, and when you come back. I also like to pack the day before because it helps ensure that everything is where I need it to be before I go. You know, packing hours before I'm supposed to take off. If I'm missing something, I'm usually scrambling and just kind of stressful. So get everything packed, position it and stage it at the front door or next to the front door. Um, and then, you know, brain dump travel to hang out for a bit before I leave. And then when it's time to go, I'll just take off and it's easy. I also recommend that you be a good traveler and sign up for airline rewards programs. United is a part of the Star Alliance, American Airlines uh, is a part of the Advantage program, uh, and so on and so on. But sign up, start kind of banking those points and just being a good traveler. Things are gonna come up along the way, you're gonna need help. So phone a friend, call your supervisor, call your flight commander, and they will take your call any time of day, any time of night, and figure it out. Everything doesn't go completely as you planned, and uh, just know that that's kind of the fun and the spontaneity of, uh, of traveling. So be prepared and just modify things as, as you need to. Hand sanitizer is also nice to bring a small thing, less than three ounces, because airplanes are petri dishes for germs, especially a, your, your food tray and that little backseat pocket. I've seen multiple times people blow their nose and then take their clean, used Kleenex and just kindly place it in the backseat uh, pocket. And I don't think that that backseat pocket is cleaned every single time um, when people uh, disembark, so gross. That's it. Those are my tips and tricks for traveling when TDY. Kind of a quick down and dirty snapshot of what I've uh, recently kind of learned. Hope it helps you. Comment down below. Let me know what you think. Share what works for you too um, so we can kind of all learn as a community. Yes, 
My pop socket does have Bulbasaur on it. Pokemon was amazing when I was a kid. It just makes me so happy. Look at this thing. Look at how cool it is. Isn't it cute? I hope you're doing well, living the dream, and I will see you later.